I'm on my way down to Mercatali, which is in Tuscany. And the regional government of Tuscany have made it a bylaw that you have to wear a mask. So here I am, I don't know if you can hear me, of course, with my mask on. But I've just spent five minutes trying to work out how to put it on. Is this the right way? Should this thing be down or should it be up? And the other thing is nobody tells you how to wear your sunglasses when you've got your mask on. Nice to see some normal life. That's it then. We're leaving Tuscany, mask off, sunglasses on. Shopping all completed on our way out for a bit of lunch. Half past 12, beautiful day, 23 degrees, 23 degrees! I've just been to feed the cats. Look at this. Boar, you know what, right under our bedroom window. So we've woken to the news uh, that we're going to be locked down effectively for another month, really, or the 3rd of May, something like that. What is it, the 10th or 11th of May? It's Easter Saturday. Another, yeah, well, at least three weeks. I'm not sure how I feel about that, really. Um, long way to go, I guess. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Russians arriving for Easter, going to rescue a state. Happy Easter. Hope you're having a nice Easter Monday. It's a bit cooler today, so I thought, well, what am I going to do with myself? I know, I thought I'll climb an olive tree and start pruning. Never done it before. Had the house 20 years. We've got, I don't know, 15 olive trees, something like that. And I'm pruning him. So I'm here. How far off the deck are we? I don't know. 20 feet, three, four meters. Hanging on by a thread, or at least an olive branch. Uh, chopping down olive branches. Good fun, actually. Just out for the afternoon dog walk. Nearly stood on this little fella. Now, um, I am no snake expert, but I'm pretty sure that this is a viper, and uh, he'd give you a nasty little nip, he's only a baby, and this is classic situation for getting bitten though, because it's quite, relatively speaking, it's quite chilly. So he was just sunning himself in a little path, or she, of course, uh, right in the sunshine, blends in very, very well with the background. And, you know, the dogs and LT, who've been on the dog walk, completely missed him. Oops. One of the definite side effects of this isolation, this being stuck at home all the time, is, I don't know about you, but I've found that I'm not really wearing different clothes. Oh, I don't mean I'm not getting changed. I am getting changed, but you're not sort of getting dressed up. So I, I just remember this morning as I was coming out down to the shop, I haven't put a watch on for weeks. I haven't put my favourite bracelet on for weeks. I hadn't even put any aftershave on. So this morning I made a special effort I uh, got out my favourite Italian t-shirt, I put the watch on obviously, I put the bracelet on obviously, and um, I also put on a little bit of aftershave as well, so I smell wonderful. Hair could do with a bit of attention, but 
I've tried to persuade Louise to get the dog shears out, uh, but she's refusing to do that. So uh, I've made a little effort, a little more effort, to be a bit more presentable. Goodness knows when I'll be able to put my best jeans on again and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, who knows, we'll see. When you bump into your mates, sometimes you don't recognise them. You won't recognise me. <laughs> Why are you still shaving? <laughs> <laughs> uh, answers on a postcard. Who is this bloke? Shaving. No. <laughs>